Hi there, I'm glad you're joining me for today's class. We'll use our hand weights and the first part of the class will, will be on our knees. So if you know that being on your knees is going to be no good for your knees, then you could do the first part of the class standing up and just do the arms. And then when I hop down on the mat, it'll be fine for you. So let's just start with a little shoulder shrug to get ourselves ready. <laughs> okay, so just up on your knees. A little cushion under the knees can feel comfy too. So you might want to try that first. And then just lift the shoulders up and let them drop back and down nice and slow. Deep breath in and out, letting the shoulders drop away from your ears. Breathe in and out. Good and nice breath in and out, feel the length of your arms, let the weights lengthen your arm. Then we're just going to, you can stay facing right where you are, but I'll go slide on so you can see. We're just going to take a little tip back as the arms go forward and then you stand up again. So I think of a little squeeze of the bottom standing up and I also feel a little lift from the inside, like a little zipping up. And when the hips go back, I feel broad at the sitting bones. And it's almost like everything just draws in a little bit and up. So I'm definitely going to feel my legs and my arms, but I'm also thinking a little bit of my pelvic floor here too. So just getting broad and easy and then drawing in and up. Without too much of a squeeze, it's just a connection that I'm aware of. Mm -hmm. and these moves are so good to warm you up <laughs> these first series of moves we will definitely be warm before you know it and see how my back's in a straight line so when I tip my eyes just look at the floor and then when I'm up tall I, I zip everything up and look straight out so your spine is in a nice straight line and your neck just is part of that nice straight line. <laughs> Two more. And squeeze your bottom a little zip up and hold it there. Good. Palms face up now, elbows in beside you. And then you just sit back and you reach forward and then you pull back. So my palms are up like you've got a tray serving food and then up and tall pull the elbows in close to your ribs that's it up nice and tall don't forget to find that little connection when you're standing tall i'm really conscious of puffing into the microphone today because <laughs> i know this warms me up Gets your heart rate up, even though we're moving quite slowly. It's a great full body exercise. <laughs> That's it. We'll do two more. Doing well. Remember this works fine without weights as well. And then hands go down. Turn the palms to face back. Tip a little forward and then reach the arms back and open your chest. Draw your tummy in. See how I let mine go? I just pulled it back in to find that connection. And then I just tip back and up. So nice and steady so you can have good form. I'm thinking of reaching the arm back, opening my chest, and I'm also feeling the back of the arm. Good. If your knees need a break, you could just stay standing and just keep doing the arms. Two more now. Keep your arms feeling really long, especially when you're up in that tall position. That's good. And down. So the next one we do is we just hold the weights together and you're going to take a little tip back. And then as you stand up tall, you're going to zip up and pull the arms up to be in line with your sternum front of your chest there 
push down as you tip back, drawing in the tummy and then up. So our back's always in a straight line with these moves, which means it's really good for, if you have osteoporosis, these moves are fine. And it's a good way to work your core too. Doing well, keep it up. Let's do two more. Sort of like the pull up the weights and zip up through your center and down and zip up. Arms come down. The next one, our arms go wide, but with a bend of the elbows, like a ballerina. And then as you tip back, the arms come in, hug a tree and then open. And inhale up. Now don't take your arms back past your shoulders. They just stay here. You're doing so well. This is our last set. Keep it going. So you go to where it does feel like a challenge. See, we can do it. And we'll just do two more. This will be so good for you. Whole body, warm, strong, connected. And then just let the arms come back and down. Good, put the weights down. And we're just going to do a nice big arm circle. So take the arms around, touch our hands together at the top, and then a big circle back. Let it go. Really stretch out wide like you're drawing a big circle around yourself. And then back. Exhale, drop your shoulders, let your arms dangle. Inhales like you're gathering up energy, drop your shoulders. And exhale. That's good. The shoulders a little roll. And now we'll all come down to have a lie on our backs and we'll just put the weights to the side. So just take a moment to find a nice long line through your body, get comfy and just take a little breather, let your shoulders open up. And then we're going to grab our weights and we'll put them on the top of the hips here. Feel your feet down on the ground, especially the center of the heel. And then what we do is we're just going to lift the hips up into a bridge. So rather than roll today, we've got the weights here and we're just going to think of a push up and drop the hips down. And again, push the hips up, back and down and push up. So if you can't go all the way too high, just go up as high as you can right now. And the muscles, this is another full body exercise, you know, I'm thinking of the hamstrings, the back of the thigh and the glutes. My lower back helps a little bit, but I shouldn't feel it too much. And I drop deep into the tummy to keep my body in a nice straight line. I think about pressing both feet down with the same energy. That's it, good job. Really working the backs of the legs and press a little through the heel and feel a little squeeze of your bottom on the way up and then relax it when you come down. That's it, so connection when you come up and relax. Two more. That's the way. Take the weights and just hold them beside your body, bumping them up to the ceiling with your elbows down on the floor. And you're going to take your right foot and just step it out one step away from you. So from here, we're going to lift our hips up into a bridge. So I feel like I have to push down with my left foot a little bit to keep my hips level and then just push, let your body back and down. So up. Can you feel like the left glute has to work a little bit more to hold you steady? And maybe you feel the hamstring of the right leg.
last one. And then put that right foot back, step the left leg out one step. And then I'm going to push down, make sure I'm nice and level by pushing down with the right leg, right foot, and then back and down and up. And my arms made a nice little frame for me here. And I just feel like I'm lifting my body up between the frame, keeping it nice and square. And I actually don't feel like I'm going very high, to be honest, today. But don't worry, I, and if you might feel the same, don't worry, because I'm sure you'll be feeling the back of the leg and the glute. And if you're like me, maybe you've even got a little wobble, a little shake through the body to know that you're working hard. <laughs> and we'll do one more. Good, good. And down. Nice. Put your feet together. And then we we'll actually glue the feet together, glue the legs together. And then from here, we're just going to go open with the knees and open with the thighs and then just bring everything back together. So again, imagine your frame here. The knees go outside of the frame and then you just bring everything back in. I can just sort of glance and see how that's happening. And draw everything back into the frame. Exhale. So inhale, open. And then exhale, feel that gliding in through the tummy. So another good way you can do a tummy exercise without rounding your back. Draw in. So you have to use your mind and exhale on the way in. Good. And hold it there. Separate your feet to be hip distance apart. Push the weights up to the ceiling. Bend the elbows and tap them back down. Push the weights up and tap back down. And push up and down and push up and down and push up and hold. Good, turn the palms to face your thighs. You're going to lift one leg into tabletop as you reach the weights to be level with your knee. And then you put the foot down and just bring the weights up to be level to the ceiling again. So we lift up and down, let's switch legs and lift up and down. Now with the breath, inhale and exhale as the weight and the knee come together. Inhale back, exhale and inhale. That's good. Got that pattern going. So as I lift the knee up, I do feel like a deepening through the tummy. I'm working on finding that deep tummy connection to control the movement of my arms and my legs. Now, if you um, have osteoporosis, you'll just keep doing this move. But if you are okay to lift up your head and chest, when the knee comes up and the arms go down, you tuck the chin and lift up into a little chest lift and then everything goes back down. So you can choose to make it work for you. So if you have osteoporosis, your head will stay down. And if not, you're gonna come up with me. And I let the weights really assist me on the lift up because it feels like they drop down and it helps me get that little lift and back and down. And tuck the chin. Exhale and the lift, inhale back. Make each one really good. You know, make each one count with good form. We're not doing heaps, so you want each one to count. Lengthen the arms, dropping the shoulders down. One more on each side. Nice work, last one. And then we're just going to bring the arms back and give them a rest back and down. Lift up both legs into tabletop now. Okay. Now we're going to just keep our elbows on the ground and bump the weights to the ceiling. 
If you have osteoporosis, your option now is to tap one toe down to the ground and then bring up the other leg and down and up. So we're just toe tapping, really getting that arc of the thigh bone, okay? So that's the option for osteoporosis. And if you are able to twist your lower back, we're going to glue our knees together, take our knees over to one side, slipping them outside of that frame again, and then bring the legs back into the frame. Over to the other side and back. If you want to make that a little harder, maybe your arms could rest straight up to the ceiling. Out of the frame, bring the legs back into the frame. Out and back in. Takes a bit of concentration, doesn't it? Because we're, we're taking our arms off the ground means we have to balance more and we stabilize through our center here. And breath, concentration, I'm trying to keep my arms steady. <laughs> don't go too fast so I don't tip all the way over. Feels like one side is harder for me to get over. Maybe you feel the same. Nice work. And then you just pop your feet down and bring your arms down. Our arms go up to the ceiling now with our palms facing our thighs. We're going to do a chest lift. So if you have osteoporosis, you're going to follow me, but you'll just keep your head down, okay? Otherwise, we're just going to push the weight so we're down and away as you lift up into a little chest lift. And we'll just hold that there. We're going to do little circles of the weights. Five, four, three, two, one. And then the other way, one, two, three, four, five. And then you lengthen down and the arms go back and up. We do another variation now, so breathe in. And then when you breathe out, tuck the chin, let the weights help you on the way up. So we're just going to hold it there as we lift one leg up and we take a breath in and out. And then you lift up the other leg and we take a breath in and out. Nice work. Stretch the legs out. Take a breath in and out. One more breath in and out here. Maybe with a little lower in and out. Bend the knees in and then the arms come back up and you lay down. Legs down. Bring the weights all the way back and down. So our next position is going to be on our side. So put the weights over away from you so you can just roll on over to your side. So we're going to have you on your elbow. The top leg goes out long. Watch that you lift up the underneath ribs. Okay, so you're in a nice straight line there. And then we're going to put the weight in one hand that top hip, you might find it wants to roll back, so just bring it forward. So the top leg's lifted up and we're just going to hold that top leg there while our arm does a few moves here up and down. Good. So if your shoulder starts to feel tired and you find you're sinking a little bit, you just lay down, you know, put a pillow under your head and just lay down. You could always put that top leg down as well. So try and find the things to do to make it work for you. This is hard. I'm nice and warm doing this class. <laughs> okay, hold the arm up and then the arm stays still and our leg does some move up and down. Good, really stretch out the leg. We're not going to be doing many, so make them really count. That's good. We're nearly there. Four, three, two, one, and bring everything in and bring the arm back and down. Nice work. Now, I hope both weights are handy because we're just going to spin around now to our tummy and have the weights on the end of your mat. So what we'll do now is we'll just put the heel of the hand on top of the weights and align ourselves so we can do a little lift up of the chest. 
So I think of stretching the legs hip distance apart, tops of the feet are down, my legs are active. Um, and then I'm ready just to look up and take a little roll of the weights towards me and then roll back. So hopefully your weights allow you to roll. But of course you could just put your hands on the ground. Let me show you how it looks with your hands on the ground. You just um, put them here and just push into your hands to take a little lift up. Okay. And you can play with where you start the weight. So de depending on how high you want to come up, like this, dropping the shoulders, finding that nice curve of your back. Just go up to where it feels okay. It should feel fine, it shouldn't hurt your back. I actually feel a nice stretch on the skin on the front of my tummy and up my chest. And then I lengthen that back and down. And again, eyes up, chest up. Push down into the weight, drop the shoulders. And we'll do one more here. And maybe just hold that for a breath. So inhale, stay there as you breathe out. Just dropping the chest forward and then roll your body all the way down. Good, and then you just leave the weights there. You put your hands up by your shoulders. You push back into rest position. So we're going to go wide knees, feet together, hinge back and just keep a flat back. So I'm not sitting all the way on my feet so I can just, I get in a good stretch of the hips and I can stretch my arms out and drop my chest down towards the mat so my back's flat. And then we just hinge forward, hands and knees again. So grab those weights because we'll switch around and do our other side now. So I swivel around, that bottom leg's bent, the top one's straight. I have both weights nearby <laughs> and, oh yes, elbow that top hips forward, bottom ribs are up. It pays to get in good position before you move. Then you'll know that the movements will really count. So lift up the top leg and then just we'll do our little arm move here. So both shoulders are working to hold us up in this shape. Doing so well. Good. And then we hold the weight up and our leg can do a bit of a move up and down. So I'm only thinking of eight or so, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bend that in and bring the arm down. Go back to your tummy, so just swivel round. This time the weights are going to be in line with your ears. So put them here and your hands on top. Feel your feet, feel your legs, stretch them long. And then I'm just going to lift up into a little chest lift and hold that there. So my eyes are just at the end of my mat. I'll take one hand and I'll roll the weight forward and then bring it back, then the other side. Now the trick is to really get our upper back warm and working is to try and stay lifted and not dip side to side as we take our arms forward and back. Good. You could always do this without rolling the weight too. Good. One more on each side. Oops. <laughs> okay. We've got it. And then back and down. Nice work. Hands go beside you. Push back to hands and knees. Okay, nice long line through your body. We're going to pick up the weight with one hand. The arm that's got the weight, I want you to reach it back to be level with your body, turn the palm to face up to the ceiling. And we're just going to do six little pulses up. Soften the elbow of the arm that's holding you up. And then back and down. 
then we just keep the weight in that hand, draw in the tummy for stability and we just take the arm out to the side but not higher than your shoulder and back and down. Out to the side, back and down and out and back and out. Back one more. Good and then just give the weight to the other hand. Take the arm back to be level with your body, soften the elbow of the supporting arm, palm faces up and we just go up and down for six. And bring that arm back and down. Now out to the side, so we just soften the elbows of both arms, we just lift and lower. So when you go level with your body it might feel like it's not high enough but it probably is. Okay, don't go higher. Last one now and put that weight in the middle, hands down on the ground. Just hinge back, find that nice rest position again, lengthening the chest and then sit yourself all the way back and up. So just sitting up now, I'm going to help you give your legs a really nice massage. So just have your legs out comfortably. You could always sit on a cushion if that feels easier. And then we're just going to do some little taps over the thighs from up the top, all the way down, and then down your calf muscles and legs, the upper leg, lower leg. Just give it a really good tap, okay? You can go on the outside of your legs and the inside. You can make a little fist. And then pause and then you're just going to take your hands nice and warm and firm and just slide them down let go and then again so sort of like you iron out swoosh away any tightness just getting a feeling of release and ease through your legs and one more push firmly iron out your legs your feet. Good. That's us all done. Nice work.